Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Arizona Sundogs TV. I'm Jordan Duvall. With me, my co-host here, Shane Ferraro. And it's going to be another exciting episode. We have some good segments planned for you, but the first thing we want to do is uh, recap some of the recent action for Arizona. Really playing their best hockey of the season right now, Shane, when you look at the fact that they had an undefeated streak for four games, a 3-1-1 one one in their last five, and seems like after a little bit of a slow start to the year, things starting to come around a bit. Absolutely. You can tell the team is starting to play a lot better, clicking a little bit, something that the fans, the team, everyone's kind of been waiting to see. Uh, points in four straight going 3-0-1 oh, in their last four, 7-8 uh, of eight dating back to December 5th. Mm -hmm. uh, really playing well. Power play goals in five straight games, something the team had struggled with early this season, so we're starting to see that turn around. Uh, just one point back right now of Rio Grande Valley and Amarillo, so a win leapfrog puts us into sixth place, fifth place, so things starting to look up. I know fans weren't happy, the team wasn't happy with how it was early in the season, but certainly seeing to turning around right now. Well, and of course a big part of the turnaround and a name that's become synonymous with Sundogs hockey, the Sundogs captain, Chris Bartoloni. Big accomplishment recently he played in his 1000th professional hockey game tough to put that into context that's a whole lot of hockey he's been durable his whole career and uh, we have a little feature for you to look at captain chris bartoloni's accomplishments in reaching game 1000 <laughs> come up with is awesome. I mean, uh, it, back to, uh, I, I never really thought about the thousand games, you know. Um, I, I really just wanted to play as long as I could. Uh, the, I, I guess the goal was to, you know, at, after a while it was like, let's get to 40, uh, 40 year old, um, 20 years pro type thing. And then just, just last year, it really kind of, I started seeing, you know, maybe getting close to a thousand. And I mean, that's a marathon. That's, uh, I, I don't even, you know, I can't see that far in, ahead into my future. Um, and uh, he just knows the game so well, so it, uh, he stays one or two steps ahead of the play. And I think that's why he's able to, to stay healthy and stay, uh, stay playing uh, for as long as he does. You know, not only that, but what people don't realize is, you know, we probably have three or four practices to every game. You know, when you start adding in practices and playoffs and exhibition games, you know, that aren't included in there, you know, he's probably close to a million. Not a lot of people can do it, but uh, you know, Bart, uh, he looks good for his age, and uh, you know, uh, I'd love to uh, have the opportunity to get a thousand games. It's been awesome. I mean, we've been, uh, my family and I have been here for four years, and uh, you know, tail end of my career, so to speak. Um, Prescott Valley's been awesome. The fans have been awesome. Uh, just really, uh, last night the presentation. You know, it, it gives me goosebumps still. Uh, it's, you know, just really, really enjoyed it. Uh, he just, he just means uh, Sundogs. He's been here since the inception, and uh, and everyone knows him around town. And and he's do doing the extra little things that other people don't do for this team. So. Well, I think uh, he's the face of the team, really. You know, he's been here since the beginning, and uh, he's always in the community helping out and. Uh, being the captain and now assistant coach here, you know, he's uh, he's the face of the team basically, so everyone knows him around town. Uh, the way he carries himself, not just on the ice but off the ice, um, you know, he's always dressed professional, he's very professional in, the, in public, you know, he treats everybody with a lot of respect. He has such, a, um, such an effective shot, he knows how to use his shot. Uh, and, and he can get it off so quickly in any situation. He, uh, he knows the game so well, like I said earlier, but uh, it's just the, the skill, the, the skill level he has, you still see it every, every, uh, every game that comes out, he can, he can get that, that shot off before anyone else can, and, uh, and he always knows where someone is, back door, or, uh, or just he puts it cheddar himself. As long as I can compete and play well, uh, pitch in, be a, a good player on the team, you know. Um, I don't want to be in the way. Uh, if there's a younger, better, stronger player uh, that can beat me out of my role, then yeah, let's uh, let, let's think about maybe stepping aside. But um, I feel good in the first 20 games. Uh, I think I've pitched in and 
done my role uh, as, to the best that I can. Um, and, and let's just take it year by year, but I, I'm, not really, I'm not really thinking about retiring. Uh, Bart's has had a long career and he's played at metal, many levels, so you know, you, you kind of have to uh, you look up to a guy like that and um, anything he says to you, you kind of have to take to heart and you learn from uh, you know, pretty much anything he says, tells you. What I learned from him, my stick seems to be getting longer. I know that I'm a defenseman, and my stick seems to be getting a little bit uh, longer every year I'm playing. So I'm, I'm almost at his stick length, and I'm uh, a couple inches taller than him. So I think so. Pretty much uh, every game right now, it's getting longer, and uh, I think he's uh, his feet are even getting a little quicker. So I don't know. Maybe he'll shorten up the stick towards the end of the year. Uh, you know, and John can attest to this. You know, you really develop your uh, stick handling and passing skills. Because he says, you know, before every game, I'll, I'll tie him up and you go get the puck. <laughs> Whenever I was in trouble, I knew he was there, so I could just give him any pass, whether it was in his skates, on his forehand, on his backhand. I knew he was going to be there and, and be able to get the puck out for me. It's crazy. When you really, you know, when you look at 1,000 um, and really, really look at it, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy. The all-time favorite memory um, would be winning, winning the championship. At the end of the night, um, I've been roommates with Bart's for the past three years on the road, and uh, and we got to after all the festivities were done and all the partying was done, we were in the hotel in Colorado. Um, Bart's got to sleep with it, and I remember waking up. Uh, he had his arm around the cup. Uh, sorry, wife and uh, kids, but he had uh, his arm wrapped around the cup, and uh, and he was cuddling it. And that's the, the best memory that I'll have. Uh, the one moment about Bart's is uh, the, the game against Corpus Christi uh, a couple years back when uh, he scored the game-winning goal from shot from the blue line and gave a nice fist pump. And you know, that's something nice to see. Probably when I first came, and you know, I was you know a younger guy coming into a very good hockey team, and he was over there changing the music around, and he, he put a song on that, you know, my dad has a record to, and uh, you know, so that was kind of made me feel a little bit like home. You know, PV's been, the fans have been great uh, in supporting uh, myself and my family. Um, they. It's, it's been enjoyable. Uh, we, we call this home now. It's, it's nice to be able to have that finally, which I didn't have for 16 seasons. Congratulations, Bartz, on the 1,000th game. Keep it up, another 1,000 to go.